एवरीवन आई एम विधि आई एम वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ जैन एंड इट्स नाइन पी एम राइट नाउ सो वी आर गोइंग आउट टू हैव डिनर एट द बिनावलिम बीच एंड आल्सो टू शो यल द शैक्स एंड नाइट एटमोसफियर ऑफ द बिनावलिम बीच बाय द टाइम वी रिच टू द बिनावलिम बीच लेट मी टेल यू सम थिंग्स अबाउट द बिनावलिम बीच बिनावलिम बीच इट ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम मारगाव थ्री किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉम कोलवा बीच एंड फ्रॉम पैंजिम इट इज थर्टी सेवन किलोमीटर्स Benalim Beach is considered as one of the most happening beaches of South Goa because it is everything from excellent accommodation and food places to its nightlife. Yet it is much quieter than the beaches of North Goa. The only crowd you'll see is during the sunsets and after that during the dinner time. So, if you want to experience and enjoy good food and true vibes of the Benalim Beach, The ideal time to visit is the dinner hours. Here is the Maria Hall and the straight road will go to the Kevasi beach and taking right from here we lead to the Banavan beach. Here in the right side is the Maria Hall. All that you see here, this building, uh, this hall is the residential area of uh, Benalim. Vinavalim beach and you can see so many cars are parked here and there is a lot of rush although it's almost uh, 9:30 the whole crowd here in the Vinavalim beach so here is the parking of the beach and now we find a spot and park our car So this is the parking of the Banawalim beach and it's completely full. There is no space for parking so we had to park a car away from the main parking. So I'll just show you all the parking ones. So this whole is the parking area of the beach. And right at the parking here is this shack, the Pedros. And the entrance is right there to the beach here is the entrance of the beach right from beside the pedro shack so here there is the scooter parking outside the shack and then the cars parking so that hole that you'll see is the pedro shack oh sorry no this is the pedros and there the with the blue and white lighting is the johnsies so now we are entering on the beach so there is the johnsies restaurant and here there is a like water sports person uh, in the sports written over here and those there on top are the contact details So let's go on the beach now. So now let's go towards the shacks. I can see that people are sitting outside also on the beach sand and also having dinner as the in the candlelight dinner and oh my god there's a lot of rush a lot 
there is the Rogers restaurant and they have this thing made like something like this tent and here it is like this is the sitting options they have like you can sit in this tent kind of thing and also outside just on the empty tables you can see there are so many people here this is the rogers even inside is full now i have come away from the main point of the beach like i've crossed the john c's the rogers and the ice cube shacks and now here i am in front of this uh, the southern deck and uh, like there are not many people here now from here on the beach is fully quiet and peaceful just the best for a night walk but here there are a few more shacks like here is this little tiger not many people inside just a few people i go a bit closer so these people have removed these beach beds i can see this is this this is the little tiger shack and not many people inside so now i am walking back towards the main point like and the time right now is almost 10 and still the crowd is like it's just going on coming so uh, banalim beach is like for this reason it's like said to be the most happening ones because doesn't matter even if you come late like at 10 o'clock or even for that matter 10 30 or quarter to 11 you'll find people here who have come for food who come here for dinner and like a good night a relaxing dinner by the beach so that's why banalim beach is very famous so this is the ice cube beach bar and restaurant which i showed you all take you all inside the restaurant for once so that you'll just get the idea so this is how this uh, candlelight dinner tables are set up so here is the ice cube bhai khel rahe the tab tabhi kya bolenge ab us din yaar spy ke the main mero aur aryan ko kya lagi chal this is how it is inside like not me for not many people here inside like mostly they are sitting outside and that is their bar area they have so i'll take you all to another shack that is the rogers now mujhe sir teen teen number pe jao so this one is the rogers and in this one you will see a lot of crowd like a lot of people here here is a family 
that's their area. And this is their whole sitting arrangement. The interior is quite good. You can see. Rogers. So they provide hookahs if you all ask for it. Now you all can make out the difference of like rush, like how much it is at this main point. And how much it is on the other side. So on the uh, right side of this beach is the uh, Kolwa beach. And on the left side of this beach is the Khevlusim beach. So I was just walking and I found this shack. The name is Tiki Pub and they have this live music going on inside. Oh, there. Although there are not many people but still they are having this live music. back at the main spot of the beach and now we will have our dinner here on the at the rogers so basically at the benaulim beach the johnses pedro uh, rogers and the southern deck uh, like these uh, beach hacks are like very famous so that's the reason why you will find more crowd in this so now we are going to have dinner at the rogers there is the Rogers. Let's, let's go.
जग रहे हैं देख रहे हैं So now we are here outside the Rogers and uh, we have ordered our dinner. I'll show you once it's here. Till then you all see the view. The view we are getting from here of the beach. Chilling out at Rogers. A chilled beer at the beach side before dinner. So we just got our beers and uh, for like snacks we had ordered uh, some uh, paneer tikka and uh, cheese garlic naan. So and uh, we are waiting for our order and uh, we have come to this place like for the fourth time like very long back we had come like uh, now we are coming after covid this is like first time we are coming after covid and uh, we really like their food it's like really good and their north indian food is also like very good they usually have a lot of crowd here both foreigners and north indian and uh, yeah so like it's a must try over here the food is really good i'll show you once the food is here uh, and till then i'll just show you their menu this is their menu card here are the beverages that they serve you all can pause the video and check out if you all are interested this are the soups here is the starters and this is chinese starters salads the non vegetarian salads and here comes the north indian cuisine they have good option in both like vegetarian and non vegetarian i am not sure about their uh, non vegetarian cuisine but their vegetarian is really good we really like their vegetarian food and i'm sure their non veg is also very good because like many people i've seen here eating this is their desserts they also have a bar so this is the bar menu <coughs> so that was the menu of rogers garlic naan that we had ordered and the paneer tikka is like it really looks mouth watering now let's just start eating it it don't don't dur se aisa bahar hai bahut hi acha cheese garlic naan so is the food it's really good this paneer tikka is tasty should be honest with you the taste is just same as it was before not changed and it's really very good okay so now we have finished having our dinner and i'll just show you all the bill uh, we haven't like whatever we ate it was like the quantity was good so we had we did not order much i'll just show you all the bill so this is the bill and uh, like don't go by the prices the quantity was really nice It was like a lot, and it's quite reasonable. You all might think that it's too costly, but no, it's quite reasonable. Seeing that, like uh, you all are eating on the beach, like with all this environment, like the prices are like reasonable, and the taste is also like ten on ten. Like 
we ordered uh, the paneer tikka and the cheese garlic naan they were like really very good the paneer was like so soft and like mm, i like it was like really very good and the cheese garlic naan well it was also like very cheesy and like every bit of flavor you would get it in your mouth so like it was like totally worth it so whenever you all are visiting the binawalim beach this like you can really have if you want like good food this is the place you can come to like it's my recommendation and uh, yeah so now we'll uh, move maybe we'll go out and have some ice cream on the way back home or we might drop that idea I'm not sure yet but uh, i'll tell you all but we have finished our uh, dinner now and we'll leave now so this is the pedro's restaurant i'll just show you to you all from inside The time right now is 11:13. We are leaving, so I just thought of showing it to y'all. We can go up. It's all empty now because it's 11:30. So this is on top. and let's see the view that we get from here well uh, i told you right that it's all empty it's empty because it's closed they are like closing it now they close it at 11 pm the manager who is of like really kind she turned it on the turned on the lights for us so that we could just shoot a bit so this is the view of the Banawalim beach there is the john seas and right now i'm on pedros and that's the parking area of this beach now it looks empty but when i had come it was all full there was hardly place to park our car so we had to park very like before the beach so this is the whole view and now we are leaving from the beach and now also the rush has become less there are like but still there is there are people over here now we are going back we finished exploring the banawalim beach well i won't say like a proper exploration or something like it was just a dinner outing with family and now we are going back So we are back in the parking lot and now we are going we are going towards where our car is I'll show you all So it's uh, 12 a.m. right now and uh, We are. I am in Botta right now. So after leaving from Banawalim, we came here. Like Botta is like quite close. Like we live in Botta, and um, for dessert we are having this ice cream, Amul Bombay Kulfi. We were just in time to reach here. Like they were closing the shop, and we were like, "Are they wait? We want ice creams." Then we grabbed this, and now we are having our ice creams. And after this, we'll go home and then sleep. So that's it for this video. I'll now end this vlog here. And uh, if you like this video, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.